Wokeness is a major issue in our society. I don't think there's a lot of people that fully realize just how devastating it really is to our culture and to the world in general. But Candace Owens goes completely scorched earth in this interview with Tucker Carlson on the woke ideology and how big of a problem it really is. I think you guys are really going to appreciate what she has to say here. It is absolutely epic. So let's go ahead and jump into this and see what she has to say on this this interview with Tucker Carlson. Now Levine is a fake admiral and we're told a woman. Candace Owens is a woman, so we thought she could assess. She's the host of Candace, and we're happy to have her join us tonight. Candace Owens, woman of the year, Rachel Levine. Do you feel honored to have this new addition? To woman of the year. <laughs> oh, man. The sisterhood, or do you have other feelings? <laughs> What's a woman, Tucker? I'm confused. I don't know what a woman is anymore. Look, it, it, this is, it's funny and it's also pointedly ridiculous and it kind of gets back to what I always say, which is that with progressives, they're always so progressive that they're actually just regressive, right? We right. saw this in terms of race. We were once the country that, that is, was a spot. That is a really, really good point that she made there. Progressives are actually so progressive that they're regressive. Don't think that isn't an accident. Don't think that isn't on purpose by these progressive people and they aren't even really progressive you can't really call these leftist individuals progressive because they really really aren't they're definitely regressive firing towards not being able to judge each other by the color of our skin now we basically say no 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 no. we have to only judge each other exclusively by the color of our skin same thing in the category of feminism right early feminism we were trying to create a space for women that was separate from men we wanted women's sports we wanted women to be able to compete differently we had women that train you know from the time that their kids all the way up through college uh to trying to compete at the level to say against other women well now you can just throw on a wig and say actually I'm a woman too and you can crush all of their records because it's so progressive it's actually regressive we're actually erasing women boom boom Candace Owens going in hot baby that is absolutely true she is so on point with what she is saying here and like I said that isn't an accident regressing is not an accident the reason why that is happening the reason why that is taking place why regressivism is actually the name of the game these days is because it is destabilizing society that is what their entire agenda is about that is what the agenda of of big tech hollywood um, the government, that is what their agenda is. The school system, it is about destabilizing society. They want to destabilize you. They want to destabilize your family. And that is how they garner more power over you and your life, which is exactly what they're after. And sadly, it was the feminists that got behind this early on. They didn't have the courage to say, no, actually, that's a man that we're looking at, and feminists should be fighting this tooth and nail. By the way, where's Hillary Clinton? I don't want her perspective on... Yeah, so then she, so then she talks about like uh, how Hillary Clinton, Clinton who uh, claims to be a huge feminist, definitely uh, has not been speaking out about any of this whatsoever. And she is totally right about this. So, you know, you can go listen to the full interview if you want to with Candace Owens and Tucker Carlson. It is really, really good. And she is so on point with this. It's so progressive. It's actually regressive. We're actually erasing women. That is what is happening right now. And, you know, the woke, they're totally okay with it. They are totally okay with what is happening because of course they are. They are minions of the woke ideology and they are going to spout whatever they are told to say. Like I said, this isn't an accident what is happening right here. I have some more stuff that I'm going to be saying about this soon that I'm very excited to, to talk about with you guys in regards to some of the things that I'm going to be doing to kind of counterbalance a lot of this type of stuff and kind of like uh, it's it's going to be really good. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can keep up to date on a lot of that stuff that's going to be coming out soon about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, leave a like, comment, all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you in another video very soon. Bye.